Hello and welcome to the metacognition.org.uk student video on using multi-flow maps. So in this video you're going to learn how to, learn to use this graphic organizer, you're going to know when to use it and then we're going to go through an example so that you are confident in using it when you need to. So the multi-flow map, what do we use it for? Now it's for understanding cause and effect. So it's about looking at one event and seeing why it happened and then what effects that had when that event happened. So how do you use it? You put your event in this center box. That's the first thing you do. You have to start with the event. That's the most important thing. Then you put causes on this left hand side and you put arrows into that event because they are what caused that event to happen. And then once you've done that, you look at the outcomes of that event. What effects did that event have? And you draw arrows off into these boxes. So causes on the left, effects on the right, but always starting with the event because this is an, an analysis of an event. So once you've done your multi-flow map or some people know it as your cause and effect diagram, what could you do? So you can actually link together different multi-flow maps. You could even draw more things coming off here. So what did these effects lead to? What other events did they lead to? Because often the event, um, the causes of one event cause other events. So the effects of one event go on to cause different events. You could explain everything within your map to someone else as well. So you could give a friend a call. You could go and speak to a parent, family, friend, whoever it might be, and explain what you've written down. Explain why you think these things on the left are causes and explain why you think the things on the right are outcomes. And it will help you make sure that you are correct. You can also use it to predict events. So you could put an event in here. So it might be a science experiment. You could put down the causes, so why you think something's going to happen. Then you could do the experiment and you could see what the outcomes were. You could even do something at home, little experiments. You could think, right, if I do this experiment, what's going to happen? If I drop a stone into some water, what are the causes here? And then what do I think the outcomes are going to be? So some examples here. So on the left, we can see Hurricane Emily. Why did this happen? Feeding into the event and then the outcomes of the event. Same here with pollution. Why does it happen? Event. What are the outcomes? And then this one's quite a fancy one. This is a double multi-flow map. So we can see the causes here of World War One give you the outcomes of World War One. But these outcomes then lead into the event, which is World War Two. And it's got further outcomes here, which they could even lead into the causes of the Cold War. So you can see here how different things can all link up and you can get a slightly fancier multi-flow map. So I'm going to go through an example now with you so that you fully understand how you use this. So the first thing you do is you just draw your multi-flow map. So I've got that in there. I've got four causes, four outcomes and my event in the middle. I've got to remember I put my event in first and that's going to be getting to school. I now fill in my causes. What caused me to get to school? So my alarm clock went off, that woke me up. Maybe my mum, dad, whoever I live with, shouting at me saying, get up, get up, it's time to go. Knowing that you had to hurry, if you didn't get up and get to school, you were going to get into trouble. Maybe you're going to get a detention or have to stay after school. And also, you knew that you were going to get a lift into school. Someone driving you into school is going to make it quicker. So those are the causes of the event. And then what are the outcomes of the event? So that's the next stage. So you think, oh, I got to school on time. That's one outcome. You got to speak to your friends before school started. It meant that you got to lessons on time and you learned a lot. And it meant that you got to ask the teachers questions. So anything you didn't understand, you could ask and find out. So those are the outcomes of that event. Right, I want you to have a go in this event now and try to put this into a multi-flow map. So I want you to have a look at eating dinner. So eating dinner is your event. And I want you to draw out your diagram, pop that event into the middle, and then look at your causes and look at your outcomes. So pause the video here, see if you can produce a multi-flow map for this event, and then look back at my example and see how good yours is. When you're watching this, remember to go and watch the other graphic organizer videos on uh, or the other, other nine types to make sure you are confident using them. Great, thank you very much.